Hi everyone and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today we're doing a really easy crystal growing experiment for Halloween. So we are using borax for this project. Um, you can use alum or salt crystals if you prefer, but we are using borax. We find that it just gives us um, really quick, easy crystal growth that works really, really well. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our shapes. So for that, we're going to use pipe cleaners. So I'm just gonna set our borax aside. We've got a couple of chopsticks. You'll need some scissors. You'll need a large jar and a little bit of fishing line or um, string will work too. But first we wanna make our shapes. So for the first shape, we decided we wanna make a spider. So we've got four pieces of pipe cleaner here in black. So what I'm gonna do is fold them in half like that, grab the top. I'm just gonna give it a little twist to attach them. Go, and then fold it over. And now that gives me a nice little place to attach my string. Now I just need to move my legs and get them into position. So decide how you want to do this. I'm actually going to fold my legs in half again simply because I prefer to have him a little less leggy, a little less like a daddy long legs. But it's up to you. So you could leave it like that. But I'm gonna make mine with a little shorter legs. So I'm actually going to fold my legs up a little bit. And then that also gives me a little thicker place for my crystals to attach. So I'm just gonna go around and do it on each leg and then give them a little bend so that my spider can stand up really well. Because in the end, the crystals that grow on this experiment are very strong. So they give you a really stable little creation that can stand up on its own. So there's that side done. I'm just gonna do this side now. So there, there's my little spider all made. So now, and you wanna make sure that he can stand up well because once you form the crystals, you can't change anything. Now I just need to attach a fishing line to him. So I've got some fishing line here. And there we go. There's our little spider all ready to go. And what we're going to do is Hang that on our chopstick and you want to make sure that he is going to fit in your jar. So I might need to adjust him a little bit. I'll make him a little smaller or we'll get a wider jar. Okay, I had to go get a slightly different container because he was touching the sides of this jar. So I went and found a glass bowl that's heat proof that I could use for the um, crystal growing. So we're gonna use this now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill it with my water. Now this is boiling hot water as you can see. Make sure that it's an adult doing this step or if it's an older um, child that they're under appropriate adult supervision. We don't want anybody getting burned. So the ratio is three tablespoons of borax for each cup of water. So I'm just gonna start adding the borax and mixing it in now. Okay, so now my super saturated solution is all mixed together. I'm just going to suspend my little spider in the solution. So there he goes, and he just sits in his little bath now for about six hours. So we'll check back in a little while. Okay, my crystals are done growing, so we're going to pull it out of the super saturated solution. There we go. Move that out of the way. Tap off 
some of the water and then give you a good look here at my spider. So there we go. There is our little crystal spider who is very adorable. You can see all the beautiful crystals that grew in there. Just make sure you can see him there. Make sure the camera's focusing. So there's him. And then I wanted to show you, I also did a little Halloween pumpkin. And if you notice, there is a significant difference in the size of the crystals. And the difference here is that with the pumpkin, I did it in one of my mason jars and I covered it with a tea towel. And when you cover it with the tea towel, it slows the cooling process. And the more you can slow down that cooling process and the loss of heat, the bigger your crystals will be. If you wanna take these crystals and make them even bigger, you can do this project on the stove and leave it on a low heat and you will end up with really large crystals. I'll leave a link in the description to a project where we did that and we ended up with crystals that were the size of about a four pit Lego piece. So they were quite massive and quite impressive. So there we go. And this was done with the pipe cleaners as well. And I just looped together some pipe cleaners and made my little pumpkin shape and then put a green one on the top there. So you can see and it's very firm and very solid when you use borax crystals. And you can do this experiment with borax crystals, you can do it with salt crystals, or you can do it with alum crystals. And again, I will put uh, links in the description to all of those different options. So you can do this experiment with your kids at home. Now, you might be looking at this and going, it's cute, but that bowl looked really messy. So you can see we've got crystals all through the bowl here. All you need to do is rinse it with really hot water. Um, borax is a soap, and so you just rinse it with lots of really hot water, and all of these crystals will dissolve. And then you can wash your bowl, and it's right back to normal. It's perfectly good to use again and again and again. So knowing that, you'll also want to be careful with your salt crystal creations. If you do get them really wet, it will dissolve the crystals. So you wouldn't want to hang these outside in a rainstorm. But there you go. There is our super cute Halloween crystal growing project that you can do at home with your kids. If you're looking for more crystal growing projects, I'll have links in the description. And of course you can visit Steam Powered Family anytime for even more fun STEM activities and science experiments that you can do with your kids. Happy Halloween.